Today I'm going to give you four simple steps to putting your chicks out in a brooder and making sure that they are happy and healthy. Step number one, pretty simple. They need good water. So what we do is we make what we call magic water. This is the very first order of priority, the very first thing all of my chicks get after being hatched. We take a couple of cloves of fresh garlic. You can smash them with the bottom of a jar to help release their juices and their healing properties. Then we add a little glug glug of apple cider vinegar with the mother. This is activated with lots of probiotics that are gonna help the chicks stay healthy. Then we add a nice healthy spoonful of our homegrown honey, which also boosts immune support. We use hot water when we make our magic water to make sure that the chicks stay nice and warm and it helps dissolve the honey and all of the good properties that we've added to this water. It's always a good idea to put something under your water to lift it up off of the pine shavings or they'll just roll the pine shavings right into the lip of the water and it will all drain out. I also like to use quail waterers for the first couple of weeks. This helps reduce any drowning that might occur. If you're using a full-size waterer tray, you will want to put some pebbles in there to help protect the babies from getting in their water. Next, you want to provide them with some really good chick starter. We like to use unmedicated for sure has to be unmedicated. We never ever use medicated on any of our poultry. We also use non-GMO feed. That is something that's a personal decision for us and it's what we prefer. Now if you have an emergency hatch that you didn't know about, like you had a broody hen out in the woods and all of a sudden you have chicks and you're trying to bring them in and provide them with food, you can always make them scrambled eggs as a first food and it will be perfectly fine for them. Another great idea for a supplemental feed source is if you have any chickweed on your property, it's really good for them. Henbit and purple dead nettle. Uh, all of these herbs that you see here, clover. This is a nice, there's wild strawberry in here. There's vetch. All of these are really healthy greens. And what I do when I'm gonna give it to the chicks is I actually pull it up from the ground and I try to get some dirt on the soil. The chicks will eat that. What you got? Oh, you wanted to help with the video? Okay. Go! Go get it! Oh! Go get it! Go get the ball! So the soil contains our native coccidia strain. So when they eat that soil, it helps their body slowly adjust to the native coccidia that lives in your area, which is actually gonna help them and prevent them from getting coccidia. Mama. And some dandelions too. You wanna pick some dandelions for the chicks? You get some for the chicks? Uh -huh. All right. Get that dandelion? Uh -huh. Yeah? Can you get some of those weeds for the chicks? Uh -huh. Okay. It is very important that you use a chick starter that is very high protein. These chicks are really gonna need it for the first couple of weeks of growth. Next step, number three, is to provide excellent shelter. We have an old crib that we have converted into a brooder. It has chicken wire on the inside and welded wire on the outside. Nothing is getting in or out of this thing. And then in order to keep it warm, while they're really young, we add these feed bags to the outside. It's just stapled on feed bags and it just makes it a little warmer in here. They have a heat light and that keeps them warm at night. 
They have good shavings, pine shavings, not cedar. And they have a perch. We will uh, put a smaller perch in here. That's what the larger chicks use. But we will put a smaller stick in here for the younger ones. We also have a overhanging roof that makes sure that they stay out of the rain. And they have protection on two sides from the wind. So this is just a little added layer of protection to protect them from any wind or cold temperatures. We also have a lid that goes on the top of this that is predator proof. Predator proof is one of the most important things with creating your shelter. So all of these things combined help us create the perfect habitat. Habitat is going to be different for each type of animal. We have some native soil and plant material to help provide a feeling of habitat. We have warmth that represents the sun. We have pine shavings that represent nesting material and the natural grounds. So all of these things combined create a wonderful habitat for your new chicks. And then you introduce the new baby to their outside brooder and see how they do. Explore babies, explore. Just a quick word of caution. Whatever your heat source is, make sure it is firmly secured and that there's absolutely no chance that anything can happen where it will fall down in any way. So whether you're using a heat lamp a heat plate, whatever device you're using to keep your birds warm, make sure it is the safest possible choice. We don't want any barn fires or any chicks getting burnt. Also important to note is to make sure that they have room to get away from the heat. They need lots of extra room so that they can maintain their temperature correctly. The first week of brooding, it's gonna be between 95 and 100 degrees for your brooder. After that, you can drop your degrees five degrees per week of age. So these beautiful little chicks are doing great in their new brooder. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope it taught you something about how to keep the perfect habitat for your chicks. Just provide excellent food, water, and shelter and they'll take care of the West, right?